Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel, Unique Tarot. This is going to be your week of the 19th to the 23rd of July, 2021 messages. All right, this is for Leo the Lion. If you're new, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up if you like a personal reading. How you can purchase one will be down in the description box, okay? So this is for Leo. Let me get the bell. Um, light a candle here. Okay. Burn a little sage real quick. Okay. Clear this energy for Leo's, my lions and lioness. Okay. So this is for Leo, the lion. If you like a personal reading, all that information will be down in the description box. All right. So this is for Leo, the lion. Leo, the lion, please. Leo. What's up with Leo, please? Spirit, July 19th to the 23rd for Leo. July 19th to the 23rd, 2021 for Leo. This is for Leo. This is for Leo. Leo, please. This is the one that flipped over, so I'm going to take it. It says, mural, be your own first priority. So maybe you guys are painting your walls or are you painting a mirror, mirror on, on your wall? Okay. It says, be your own first priority. So a lot of people, you putting yourself first. Yeah, and then escapes, it's a, escapes fism at the bottom of the deck. It says, come home to yourself. So a lot of you are just really working on yourself. Yeah. And then take control of your own narrative. Really taking control of your life. Yep. And then paint the, paint the sky, paint the sun in your own sky. So yeah, a lot of, yeah. And then rose bath. Yeah, so... Unplug and relax. A lot of self-love here, Leos, okay? Do your thing now. I ain't mad at you. All right, number 25. Some of you could be 25 or that number could be significant here. So it says, be your own first priority. Whatever you're currently um, grappling with, you must put yourself first. When you're, on the, when, it, when you're on an airplane, they always tell you to put on your own oxygen mask before you try to help your neighbor with theirs. This is to say, if you don't make sure your own energy bar is full, then, how, then, how, then you'll have no energy to give to someone else. Be brave enough to admit when you need to take a step back from the demands of others and work on making sure you're okay. So that makes perfect sense. That's self-explanatory. You can't pour into somebody else's cup if yours is empty. All right? You have to love yourself in order to be there and love and help other people. You have to be able to put yourself first. And that could be a rose bath every now and then. Or just sitting in silence and having a cup of coffee by yourself. Or a glass of wine with no noise. Just sitting there, you and spirit, connecting. Sometimes you got to do that. Because a lot of people with the devil here and the five of pentacles can be very greedy and needy and, and, um, and codependent. But you have to learn to pull yourself away from that and understand you, you're not everybody's savior. And you're definitely not Captain Saberho. You know what I'm saying? Unless you filled out the application for that and got the job. I mean, you, when you tell me. But what's the messages here? Clarify this mural, mural card. Be your own first priority for Leo. What's this for Leo? What's the messages for Leo 19th to the 23rd of July? Please, Spirit, 2021 for Leo. What is the messages? What should Leo know most for the week of July 19th to the 23rd, 2021? All right. So I, the Queen of Wands, look at you coming out strong, Leo. Beautiful. Okay. Very attractive. All right. Very beautiful. You could be working out, working on your body, getting fit here. You're going, you, you are really stepping up here. You ain't playing no games. You just have this burst of energy. You're like, yes, Knight of Pentacles, really being methodical, really being careful with how you plan and move and being strategic this week. You may have a lot going on. Some of you could have a white cat. 
Okay, or I'm hearing a black cat. A lot of you could be eating berries or smoothies a lot, for a lot of fr fruits this week. I'm getting that you want to put certain things in your body so that your skin glows, so that you look good. Okay, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles and the Judgment. You're really making judgment calls. You're very, being very methodical in the way that you move here and the things that you do this week. Okay, what is the Queen of Wands for Leo? Yeah, the world. Okay. And the hangman. So a lot of a lot of stag stagnant energy here. All right. I feel like I feel like things are or you could be some of you could be the world. I'm I don't know why I'm hearing traveling. So some of you could be traveling or, or a flight or, or something could be delayed here. Or something could be put on hold. All right. Or somebody's delaying. This there could be a Pisces that's delaying an ending with you, or somebody that's stuck on the ending. Yeah, five of swords and the three of swords. So this is this is somebody. This is like purposely trying to hurt you. Somebody that's vindictive here. This could be Leo. You, this could be you with the strength card. That's you. Or this could be somebody you're dealing with here. But somebody could purposely try to say something hurtful or troll you or. There, maybe you ended things with them and you've moved on. You're looking good. You're fine as hell. And they're still stuck. So they're mad or they're jealous or whatever this is, Leo. Okay. Let's see what this is. All right. The Eight of Pentacles. Some of you could be stuck at work or working a lot this week. I feel like somebody really wants to... Somebody you haven't been in communication with. Things that have just just been hanging in the balance. I feel like this person, yeah, Ace of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Somebody is in love with you or they want to come in and express their love or they're attracted to you or they want to work on this. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Somebody here wants to work on with you. Or somebody is saying that they have a work idea here. Maybe they have, a, a, they want to implement, maybe this is their way of talking to you or breaking the silence or starting on a clean slate with you, Leos. All right. I feel like somebody wants a, a clean canvas to paint a whole new picture here with. All right. They, somebody wants a, ch a second chance is what I'm picking up. Some of you could be leaving a job or, yeah, you're leaving some kind of job and doing something else. All right. You're picking up and just saying, fuck it. I want out of this. Yeah. All of a sudden and you're going towards a new opportunity. Ace of Pentacles with the Page of Cups in the Fool, the Ace of Swords. Not yeah. You definitely have a new business idea or you're deciding to work for yourself this week, possibly for some of you Leos or you're implementing a new idea or you're doing something new. What's this Queen of Cups? What is this Queen of Cups? You have the Ten of Pentacles. So you really want long term, okay? We're going from the eight to the ten. So something is really growing here. Your your finances is growing, Leo. All right. Your whatever this idea you implemented or whatever this is that you're doing that's new here is really working. Or yeah, the four of pentacles. Or you're making good investment, good business investment. See here. Four of pentacles, the death, Scorpio energy, the nine of wands, and the hermit. Yeah. So somebody really six of wands, the empress, the three of cups, the king of wands. There's somebody really watching you here. Okay. That you moved on. Some of you have a secret new love. You have a secret new relationship that you're in, but you're very much hiding it. You're not talking about it much at all. Like, and now somebody's worried and wanting to come in and make an offer towards you. There, a Libra could be significant here. What's the Ten of Pentacles? But your money is definitely, uh, you, you're having an influx of money here from the Eight of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Whatever you do for work, you're good at it. You This idea you're implementing or whatever this is. All right. Yeah, the Seven of Cups. Your options are opening here as well. All right. We have the Ace of Cups in the Moon. Yeah. I feel like somebody's very, really confused here if you have somebody new. I feel like you have a lot of options and love and new love here. But there's something that's very secretive here. Or you're very, very much psychic and very, very much intuitive is what I'm getting with this Queen of Cups moon and the Ace of Cups. Somebody is very intuitive here. Yeah, the Four of Wands. All right. And the High Priestess with the Queen of Swords and the Knight. Yeah. Some of you could be a, like a psychic or a speaker or you pup, you speak publicly for a living. Something you do on stage that you perform and you're seen and you're watched. 
You do very well at that here. What is the Queen of Wands? You do very well. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. Very sharp. Very intellectual here. Okay? Yeah, Five of Wands. I feel like a lot of demands on your attention here. A lot of people wanted to talk to you. A lot of people wanting advice. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Very independent here. You, you're very independent, very beautiful, very abundant. A lot of luxurious things around you. A lot of you guys could be eating a lot of grapes or drinking a lot of wine this week. But very comfortable, very beautiful. Maybe even getting your hair done or fixing yourself up this week. You just have a lot of demands on you. Okay? Because you're looking very beautiful here. All right? A lot of messages. I feel like somebody's coming in. All right, what's the Ace of Swords for my Leos this week? But things are looking good. A lot of options here, a lot of things to do. We have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of passive income. A lot of back and forth communication here. What's the Two of Pentacles? What are these cards? Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles and the Chariot. Some of you could be uh, paying your car note or, or having to pay your car note this week. All right, it's coming up. We have the Star card. Here, so some of you it could be in the public eye, but yeah, very independent here, very victorious. I feel like somebody there could be a Cancer, there could be a Pisces, or or a Cancer and Pisces is here heavy Leo that wants to come in and communicate with you, or they want to offer something. This could be somebody that's in and out of your life. Yeah, the Star card. You're really taking your place in the world here. Yes, yeah, Seven of Pentacles. You're putting a lot of thought about expanding a business or, or how you're going to do something here. You want to expand across the world or, you, or you're thinking about this traveling that you're doing or whatever. We have a star in the sun. Some of you could also be coming in contact with your twin flame with the lover's card here. Five of Swords. I feel like somebody is really heartbroken, sad, and shit without you. Yeah, we have the Eight of Wands and the Four of Swords. So somebody wants to travel to come see you with the Eight of Wands and the Chariot in their car. Some of them, it could be a motorcycle. But somebody wants to, if you haven't been speaking to this person, this person wants to come in. They want to offer you this cup or they love you or they want to tell you this. They've been waiting on communication from you. What is the Ace of Swords, Two of Pentacles? Maybe a lot of you are having to sign checks out to your employees this week or do payroll or something like that. Is what I'm hearing. Yeah, two of wands. You go. Some of you could be going back and forth here about there's somebody that's really holding on to you here, and they they refuse to let go. They want to communicate whatever. They want to work on it or work with you. Three of Pentacles. All right, Knight of Swords. They're rushing in with the Knight of Wands. The two most fastest knights in the deck. They're coming in quick, fast, passionately. Somebody's one second, somebody's passionate about you. One second, they're upset. They they want to say this. They want to say that. I feel like somebody's very un emotionally sta unemotionally stable. Okay? They're very unemotionally stable. Okay? Very emotionally unstable is what I meant to say. All right? Yeah, King of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles. The devil. Yeah, somebody wants to provide for you or give you more or show you that they do love you. Yeah, somebody is very much in their head about you, Leo, or this is you. All right? What's the Nine of Swords? Page of Wands. About this communication or about reaching out to you here. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. And the Empress. Or about this child. This could be a baby mama. With the empress could be a baby mama. Or um, or if not that, a wife. Or just or just a Libra. That you're watching or you find to be very attractive. This person could work with their hands. Or somebody here works from home. Or they could be a tarot reader with the page of pentacles. Or you're watching a lot of tarot readings here. Leo, what's the messages here? But I feel like there is um, three of cups. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Cups. Somebody's doing what they're destined to do. They're highly celebrated. Yeah, somebody can have a YouTube channel. Something about work. I feel like somebody really wants to work with someone or get their advice on how to catapult their career or something like that. I feel like somebody wants to come in and like, I have this good idea about how to make money or how to double your money or do you want to be partners or can we work together? I feel like this person wants to work with you, but they still love you. They love you too. Yeah, judgment. Somebody's doing their calling here with their destiny to do judgment and will of fortune. 
and they're being celebrated here or whatever. Yeah, the justice. Definitely karmically. This some of you could be going through a legal case this week that's gonna go out in your favor. Leo's is gonna turn out in your favor. Three of Cups, you're gonna be celebrating here. If you're going to court with your baby mama or this Libra, because we have Empress and Justice, Libra energy. Libra, you rule karma, you rule the justice system. Things are gonna go in your favor. If you're if you have Libra high leaf aspect in your chart or you're dealing with the Libra. But yeah, you've walked away because you didn't want, yeah, you're going from the four to the eight to the nine. Somebody rejected this small little whack-ass cup that somebody was trying to give them. They walked off eight of cups to find their nine of cups. Emotional fulfillment. Yeah, somebody's watching you. Somebody's really watching you get your money, your coins. This week, do your thing. Yeah, page of cups. Somebody wants to apologize now. Yeah, three of swords. They're sorry for breaking your heart or lying or having you in a third party or, or just being a liar. Okay, like somebody is, yeah, king of pentacles. Now they want to come in and provide for you, protect you. They want to give you everything you deserve and want. I feel like somebody wants to spoil you. What's the page of cups right here? I mean, I really do, but I feel like you're indifferent. Yeah, you, you, you're, you're like, no, some of you are not accepting this apology. You don't, you, you don't want it. I saw the death card. This could be with the Scorpio or something's just over or this relationship is over. You just don't want it. Yeah, the Tower, the Two of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Devil. Somebody is so obsessed with you, obsessively thinking about you, and just so attached to you. All right? The Emperor, that this could be a, a, an Aries from your past, or, or, or with the Six of Cups and the Emperor. This could be your child's father or your children's father. Yeah, that you excommunicated and you moved on from. Here they come. What's the Seven of Wands? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Before I go, what's the seven of wands? Yeah, somebody's like, no, I'm good. I'm moving up eight to the nine. Somebody's moving on to their fulfillment. I feel like somebody tried to breadcrumb someone or they were ch ch petty or childish or they were already in a relationship. They tried to give somebody the bare minimum and somebody wasn't taking that. Yeah, a page of swords. And they moved on to something bigger and better. Probably this king of pentacles. And now somebody's watching that and stalking it. And watching somebody be happy or they will be. And now they want to come in and offer something or do better. All right. Somebody wants to do better by you. Just period. Yeah, because they're watching you. Get your coin or or start this psychic business. Queen of Pentacles could be a business and then the high priestess or be successful. Six of Wands. A lot of you are gaining a following like overnight. A high following this week. Six of Wands. The Tower. I'm hearing like 600 or 6,000 um, subscribers, all right? Two of Cups, Six of Pentacles being patronized. Somebody could also be worried about going to jail here as well for, for non-payment of child support, all right? A father or something. What's the justice with the Page of Pentacles? Yeah, there is a court case with this with a child here or something, yeah. In the emperor, yeah, with the father of a child, somebody you excommunicated or left out in the cold could be a Scorpio with the death card. The tower definitely could be a Scorpio, somebody you ended it with or it's over with or whatever. Somebody wants to come in, maybe offer love or 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 something. Somebody that was trying to breadcrumb you. You're like, nah, I'm good. So yeah, the high priestess, the six of wands, the seven of pentacles, and the king of wands. So somebody's really thinking about how to spend time with you or get your attention here. All right. Some of you are doing, like I said, you're gaining the following here. You're really putting in work and time into your work. You know what I'm saying? Into your into what you do for your craft here. You're looking good on stage. Very sexy. Yes, the star card. Very much star, six of wands, and the high priestess. The fool, you're doing something new, beginning something new. You're looking towards the future and you're doing well. King of yeah, Queen of Swords, somebody's a public speaker. But here, here somebody comes though. All right, Leo, you're doing very well. So I see your finances increasing this week. I see you gaining the following here. All right. Blowing up here. You have three, you have three aces here. Or is there is there more? You have the Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Cups is here. I thought I saw the Ace of Pentacles as well. All right. But new love, new, new everything. Just new ideas being implemented, new money. You could have somebody working with you on your finances, or you could be opening a business account or something like that. Messages here. 
for Libra. I feel like somebody's really wanting to reconcile with you for this week, Leo. I'm sorry, I said Libra. So you could have Libra in your chart or you could be dealing with the Libra, Libra, Leo. So this is for Leo. Give me one for Leo, the 19th to the 23rd. For Leo, please. Leo, give me one significant card for Leo. The lion, all right? That's too many. I just need one for Leo, please. Leo. Leo. 19 to the 23rd for Leo. Two, too many. But there's an, there's an influx of money here. Your money is doing well. You got the eight, the nine, the 10. You went from the what, two to the four, to the six, to the eight, nine, 10, to the king. So your money is definitely increasing this week. It says romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth explore, exploring. So somebody, yeah, release your ex, separation and wedding. So this is somebody you released here. That is coming back in. Romance. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of love. So somebody wants you to feel safe. That it's safe for you to love them. Yeah, healing, family issues, religious factors. This person, you share the same religious factors with this person. This person has the same religious views as you. They want to reconcile. Yeah, they're calling you in. They want to make the effort. Finances and career. They want to provide or, or, or whatever. All right, yeah, deception was in the reverse, so they want to come out of this de de deceptive energy, all right, or something like that. But this is a good week for you overall, Leos. You're doing really good. Very six of wands. This is you. You're in the spotlight. You're getting in the follow, following. You're being celebrated here. People are coming to you for your services. They're patronizing you. you you're you really gaining a following, all right? What's the star in the six of wands? I got to get one. Star in the Six of Wands. What's the star in the Six of Wands for Leo? I knew it. Okay, the tower. That the, There's something happening overnight. Like you're gaining a following. You're becoming a star or something is happening overnight here. It's going to shock you how things pick up for you this week. Yes, Two of Cups, Six of Pentacles. People are just paying you, watching you. This is something online. Page of Swords and Queen of Pentacles. Your business is picking up. Yes, King of Swords. You're very sharp. And there's that other ace. So you have all these aces here, new opportunities here. Yeah, the fool, the three of wands, the queen of swords. It's like some of you could be taking a trip or preparing for a trip. All right. So what's the messages here for my Leos? One for Leo, please. One for my Leos. One for Leo, please. For the week. Leo, please. 19 to the 23rd for my Leos. Wow, this is beautiful energy, Leos. Beautiful. All right, Leos, what's the messages here? It's just everything is going in your favor. It's a good week. We have coffin. Okay, endings bring new beginnings. Growth, change, liberation, and transition. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio this week, heavy. A Scorpio could be in your energy, but something is over. You ended something, and now look at all these aces, aces and new beginnings that you have here. Every ace in the deck is here, Leos, okay? So you have nothing to worry about this week, all right? And then we have the Grim Reaper, another Scorpio. Scorpio is here a lot. Tower, death, a lot of Scorpio energy. So this person is heavy um, in your energy this week, okay? But, and then we have Cupid's Arrow. Have faith, love is coming. Surprise, invitation, meeting, hesitation. Yes, yeah, somebody's going to surprise you and ask you out this week, um, Libra, or want your forgiveness or want to talk or whatever. All right, so those are your messages, Leo. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.